Hey everyone, welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus, where everything's gonna happen in this part. And I mean everything. This is gonna be a super long part, but that's okay. Because it's Shadow of the Colossus, baby. It's conclusion time. Or rather, I should say, we got Final Colossus. Open up the gates! It's all symbolic. Of what I don't know, but you know, maybe maybe that's the gates to hell, you know. Maybe maybe that's the symbolism. I don't know, but I mean, I, I like to think I do. But anyways, you know, I guess it's irrelevant. We're just gonna pass on through on our horse pal and just go forward to victory. Or at least that's why I keep telling myself. Cause let's be honest, I need all the positive self-esteem I can get at this time here and now oh by the way i should mention we have another save shrine you like save shrines i like save shrines you see that in the distance i know you do because i'm aiming at it so you know with the save shrines you got like stuff and opportunities and hopes and dreams and how did i even get that in the first time whatever you know what don't matter doesn't matter Lizard man, lizard. We need the lizard. I got the lizard. Gonna mark this safe shrine on my map because let's be honest, if I do that, then I have it. It's pretty irrelevant, though, I have to be honest. I mean, I don't have to do it. I just. Uh, it's OCD tendencies. Anyways, so, aggro. Uh, that, I, again, don't know how I'm pronouncing. I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, English language, not my strong suit. Even though I gotta commentate, I guess my my point is I'm on my horse. My horse is important. It's amazing. It's the best friend I ever had in this whole entire LP, aside from bacon. But I mean, I guess his spirit translates into this horse, and he's awesome. Look at him ride. It's the best. It's the best. Wait, what? No, horsey pal. No. I gotta be honest, I knew that was gonna happen, it still hurts, on multiple levels, that was my friend, that was my BFF, he's gone, oh I should end the LP right here, but I can't, cause we're so close, also I mean, I, I, I have to be honest, I, I feel like it's trying to set the mood, the very somber and dreadful mood, I mean, it's not, it's not good, it hurts a lot. Sacrifice. Actually, I mean, maybe, maybe that's the symbolism right there. Maybe maybe that's what that's supposed to represent. Anyways, moving on with my life, I'm just going to climb this mossy wall. Or whatever it is. I mean, I, I guess I have to assume this is moss. I mean, what else could it be? I mean, Grant, this is a fantasy world where I, like, I, I guess it could be any sort of fauna that grows on the wall, but it looks like moss. I never really commentated on that because there was no point in it, but I'm trying to distract myself from recent events because <laughs> my mind's so tormented. It, it's distraught from just that one minor scene. <laughs> I think everyone laments on that. But regardless... Uh, final battle, everybody, everybody's ready for it, we've been leading up to it, you know, after, ever since, like, the destruction of the 15th Colossus, I've been slightly traumatized, even more so now by recent events, but my point is, everything's starting to accumulate, and how I did not fall off the cliff is beyond me, but, you know, it, it's regardless, because we got the atmosphere, the weather has taken a drastic turn, it's all windy, and rainy, and it's... It, it's it's amazing. It's epic.
It's the 16th Colossus. Um, uh, there's not really a whole lot to say other than he really is trying to obliterate you with his giant light bolts of doom and distraction, and they hurt. They fling you all over the place. Don't get caught. You won't recover for the most part. I mean, maybe on a, the rare occasion you kind of do, but for the most part, he'll just volley them. Every time you start getting up, he just sends another one right to you, and it hurts, and you're kind of like, how am I supposed to even do? And it turns out... You don't. This is my boss. He has cheap tactics. Besides that, I mean, all, all you really need to know is that, you know, you go through the back way, go through uh, the underground passageways, you know, the, the teachings of the previous Colossi. Uh, number four comes to mind. You know, the horse, the horse Colossus, the one that was like, you had to go through the underground passage, yeah. Um, also, I should mention, a new, a new mechanic, or rather, an old mechanic, but we never used it, is going to come into play. The dodge roll. I haven't had to use it, but in the near future, it actually kind of serves a small purpose. For the first time, and probably last, well, I guess second, because, you know, the tutorial, they're like, you can use this move, it's helpful. I never used it. <laughs> Not until I got here, because, I mean, it's the only time I really have to put it to the test. Although, that that said, it's a very irritating part. You see, for the most part, this whole underground passageway, once you figure out, hey, this, this is here, I can use it, it's not so bad, but the problem lies within the last little leg of the game you know, like the last little part th this part coming up once I get up here we're at, we're at some barriers and then you know all we gotta do is just we well first off I gotta trigger him to do that and then I gotta run over here otherwise that happens and it's painful look at me I'm on the ground I'm all defeated grand you know it puts me in the was the, the trench I mean, that, that's kind of what this, you know, irrelevant. Point is, I get thrown down here and I have to redo it again and I feel like a dumbass. And really, that's not the point of this. The point is, you gotta feel like a badass. Okay, this part. See, the last part was pointless. That part, dodge roll is kind of helpful, but at the same time, the boss is really cheap because, I mean, it's kind of an elongated section and you're just shaking your head and you're like, no, 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 no. Terrible. Why did I do this? How did I flub up so bad? What is wrong with me? You know, that, that, the things I ask myself, especially in this boss fight, you know, things I should not fail. Because I'm the, I'm the less player. I should be totally awesome. I should be able to do this like it's so. Oh, man, that was, that was like, well, no. See, now here's problematic. See, I'm out in the open. I have no coverage. How am I supposed to even do in this type of setting? He's gonna love a lot of the light bolt like so. And I would never be able to ordinarily make that, but somehow I lucked out. So, we're very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. Everyone out there, that's the word of the day. Fortunate. Oh, but it's all cinematic. I know. Normally, I don't really talk through cutscenes, but fuck it. This is the final boss. Look at it. He's so intimidating. It's it's very very epic. The ca the cinematography is great. I love it. Other than that, this is this is a little bit of a chill part. You know, we're just climbing up like the little dress kill part of like the whole Colossus because he's got something like that going on, and it's it's fairly easy. It's very it's very therapeutic, you know, after, like, having to survive the whole underground passageway and getting a whole bunch of light arrows just lobbed at you over and over again and maybe failing a couple times, you know. You finally get to this part and you're like, eh, this isn't so bad. You know, I can deal with this. Normally I can't, but, I mean, now I'm, I'm dealing, I'm doing, I'm climbing. And I'd be mean, like, I, I kind of like it. It reminds me a little bit of Catherine. I don't know if, like any inspiration from this was taken like or I don't know if Cather took any inspiration from this but I, I mean I, I, I don't know I kind of doubt it but at the other I mean on the other hand I mean you never know but I guess I guess what I'm trying to say is it's all irrelevant because now we actually have to do the real part of the Colossus the real the real ending segment 
the the real tough parts. You see, we gotta go from point A to point B to point C to point D, and then I think there's part E. But you know, it, it's all irrelevant. Point is, to grab onto the hand. Um, this is not the right part of the hand. Normally, you want to go for the far part of the whole little palm thing. You don't. I don't really know what I'm trying to prove here. You know, this this doesn't seem successful. This seems like failure on so many levels. Just irritating failure. Now, normally I would cut it here. I would have cut it in several parts, but you know, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, for all intents and purposes, this is final boss. I mean, I gotta show a little bit of failure, right? You know, you gotta see what you're up against when you're trying to get this guy going. Fortunately, um, I, I know the strategy and how to do these things. I just grabbed onto a really awkward part that was completely unintentional. My bad, guys. My bad. I apologize on so many levels. But, you know, I, I digress. Because it's all irrelevant, you see. I'm, I'm gonna do, and I'm back up here, okay? Enough time to distract you guys, because now we're really gonna do it. For realsies. I swear to God. Number two, Electric Boogaloo. It's the real take. It's going on. Alright, now, without flubbing up this, I got to the real part that you want to grab onto when it comes to his hand. You see, he's right here. He does this thing. Run up his little arm and go to, like, yeah, I don't know, like, his, his upper arm, his uh, bicep, in other words, and stab it. Just go, just go and stab it. I mean, it's glow thing, you know? You just see the glow thing, you stab it. And it's, it's pretty normal, pretty, pretty typical from what you expect. Okay. Now what you can do here is you grab onto this hand, and then he's like, "Ew, <laughs> little insect grabbed onto my hand." But the thing is, you know, I got a sword. Insects don't really carry swords, so they really have man. It's, it's, it's annoying. But point is, um, he's just gonna do this. What you want to do? What I found is the best method is just stab his hand because it, it pretty much lays it out flat like that and then you just you go for his shoulder just shoot an arrow at his shoulder he goes to try to comfort the wound and or the wound and then when you get to this section you jump onto the shoulder and then you have access to the real the real valuable weak spot that we've all been hiding over you know the thing that we've been trying to get to uh, so yeah, once you know the strategy, this boss is actually not too bad. I mean, I kind of like it. No issues whatsoever when it comes to number 16. 15, on the other hand, can't really say too much in terms of like this. I mean, even when we get here, you know, we kind of have like capabilities of actually stabbing it. And the fortunate thing is that this weak point, it does not change. Or at least I have yet to see it actually switch up. Also, we have enough time to really just focus our sword and stab him. As far as I know, um, I, I don't really have a lot of luck trying to get it all fully full just charged, but at the same time, I'm fine with the amount of charge that they're giving. You know, we, we got enough time to really leave an impact and defeat. See, I've killed it. it it's actually pretty... Oh my god, look at that kill, that, that skirt kill. It just completely cracked and shattered. Oh, that, that is epic. Um, the major kill, I guess. Like, look, oh, oh, man. I mean, it, it, I guess it's kind of... Oh. See, I wanted to get out of, off, like, the skirt dress. I wanted to get to the ground, see what happens. That would have been fine. Or that, or, like, maybe if the, the tendrils, they just, like, strike me at the... As I'm falling, you know, that would have been cool, but I, I, I digress. It's all irrelevant. No one cares. I did it! I beat Shadow the Colossus, everybody!
Vamos. Hemon.
<laughs> Total power, baby. I'm Kareem. I'm a giant shadowy beast of all infinite power. What can you hope to do? Oh man, this is what all that kill meant, amounted to. Did he just take up the sword? Is he gonna try to stab my weak point? I don't even give a shit. I'm the Colossus now. See, this is what happens when all that gilip just like builds up in your soul. It makes you turn into this big, shadowy piece of infinite power. Nothing can stand before me now, cause I am super all powerful. Feel my wrath, the wrath of a deity. See, I questioned it before, but now, now it turns out. I have unlimited power! <laughs> See, I knew, I knew the power of darkness could reside in us all so deeply. It, it was, it's, the, it's the true power, the power of the dark side. Oh, Man, fuck the light. <laughs> that, that is the moral of the story here. Dormeed, he, he do. See, he's a shadowy beast of all infinite power and wisdom. Oh man, look at look at this guy. I mean, yeah, he's a little slow and uh what where are they even trying it's look, it doesn't matter. Point is, I can't be stopped! I'm going to escape into the real world and then reign a new terror and tyranny and all sorts of oppression words and what have you. You know what? It doesn't matter. Point is, I'm your god now! You can't hope to stop me! <laughs> I have to say, this is amazing. How could it ever go downhill? I mean, they can't even hurt me. Look how much health I have. <laughs> and I like how I just attack everything. Just like some sort of... Like some sort of person trying to crush a bunch of insects. Well, uh, this looks unfortunate. 
very unfortunate. I, I've lost all my dark powers, and now I'm being sucked into the light. This is terrible. <laughs> what, is this Kingdom Hearts or something? Am I a Xehanort? Is that what this is all alluding to? You know, is this me? Like, I, I just have been defeated, and I found out that Kingdom Hearts is light, and I'm asking myself, what, why? Oh no, I gotta escape. Wait, what about my wish? She never got resurrected. I've been cheated. And that shall the Colossus, everybody. Uh, I know, it's a bit somber, and I mean, look, look at, man, this is just depressing. I mean, it, it hurt just to fight a bunch of guys, except for that one. You know, when I say guys, I mean the Colossus, you know, it hurts to fight all these Colossus, because when you end them, I mean, it's just really, really sad, especially to me, except for like a couple of those guys, but 
day. So, uh, yeah, everybody. Dormy was released, but then he got resealed or something. Uh, he did bring back her girlfriend and also our horsey pal. He didn't die, so that that's very nice. That That's kind of a happy end. Uh, except for us, you know. Yeah, anyways. All that said, the bridge got destroyed, so... How how is how is like our girlfriend slash maybe sister slash possible family member or like I don't know. Point is like how is she supposed to get out of here? You know the horse, her. They're kind of stuck here. They can't they can't really like get out. I mean like I don't really see like her riding like our horse pal like out of here. I mean I guess they could build like a boat or something, but. I just don't see it happening. So is this how it ends? Like we we trapped her here in the Forbidden Land. She, uh, what she has to do now is just like survive on fruit and lizards and what have you, kind of like us. Except I don't even know if she has like the the ability to uh, use a bow or a sword. I mean, she might, but there's so many questions. I I don't know. I mean, I, I guess she has a lot of capabilities but, or something. Uh, but far be it from me to figure out how or why. Either way, I mean, uh, th this was Shadow of the Colossus, and uh, it's, it's a pretty good game. I can't really, like, say anything bad about it. I mean, I had fun. Except with that guy. Fuck that guy. Uh, also, the 16th, everybody, we just flashed through all the 16 Colossi. All 16 of the Colossus. Oh, and other cutscene. Yeah, there's an ending cutscene here in the credits. And now back to the credits, but it's all different because, you know, now now we're back to the girl and, and our horsey pal, he lived! Although he's limping, and that, that's kind of sad, but I mean, I'm, I'm still happy, you know, he's alive, and he, he's like, now gonna help the girl, and, um, again, I think they're trapped here, at least for a, a while, uh, but, hey, there's even better news, you see, they're gonna walk, and they're gonna be like, well, Admiral, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> And you see, it turns out they get to the sealed place, the place where, you know, we were kind of sealed because we were all dark and decrepit and uh, possessed by Dormine. And uh, it wasn't good, but turns out that we're now regressed back into child. Does this mean we're Aiko? I mean, is that even possible? Also, does that mean that she's our surrogate mother now? So, you know, whatever she was in relation to us beforehand, it's all irrelevant now, because, um, she, she's now our mother figure, our adopted mother. So, uh, yeah, you know, that, that's what's gonna happen now, that, that's what, that's what we got going on. Also, I hear there's not really a direct correlation to, like, Aiko and Shadow of the Colossus, I mean, like, they're related, uh, somehow, but, um... It, it, I think it's pretty unsure why. Like, there's a lot of theories and, like, hypotheses out there and to how they're connected. And they are, but I, I, I don't know how. Uh, I mean, like, my, my guess, uh, we're Aiko. That, that's Wander. He becomes Aiko, yeah, because he's a kid and he has the horns. And um, that, that's totally what happens. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Gilden, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how, how would that even begin to, like, 
correspond to this. I mean, he was like captured and stuff, and like I, I don't know, he's, he's like trapped here and they're trapped here, and like I guess the idea is like they're gonna live out their lives here or something. Uh, you know, there's a lot of questions. We don't have answers. I mean, I, I like to think we we would get some, but you know, I guess it's irrelevant because you know that, that's that's uh, that's the thing that y'all need to know. It's all irrelevant. This is Shadow of the Colossus. This is how it ends. And I'm fine with it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I did get frustrated a couple times, but uh, that's all irrelevant. None of you really need to hear about that. Because, you know, this game's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Had a lot of fun. Can't really complain too much aside from, like, the several that gave me problems. Uh, again, irrelevant. <laughs> uh, I guess I should probably digress into other things, you know, like, uh... Like, stuff. Like, for instance, did you know there was, like... Originally, there was gonna be, like, 48, but then they're like, there's no way we can put, put like, 48 Colossi into this game. Uh, and so they were gonna cut it down to 24. But then, I guess, due to, like, time and, and restrictions and stuff like that, they, they had to, like, cut out 8. So it turns out that we ended up with 16, but... Uh, they were gonna put in 24. Like, I think they cut it from, like, 48 to, like, 24, and it was gonna be, like, the original number. And so, uh, yeah, there was, like, some unused colossi into this whole entire thing, and it would have been awesome. And, uh, based on what I can see, one of them is apparently, uh... They have code names. All right, I can give you the code names. I looked this up off screen. Uh, one of them was the Devil, and I can't even rem I can't even like figure out what that was going to be like. But it, uh, it it resembles a gargoyle, and that's pretty cool. Uh, there was a Griffin that I guess also resembles a Griffin. You had a monkey that was going to resemble a monkey, and God forbid like what that was going to be like. Probably going to be super annoying. Uh, there was one that was going to look like an ostrich. That was going. Uh, I had a code name. Phoenix. Uh, there was there was a rock, which God help me, I would have I would have been really pissed off because it would have been like a bird thing that you would have had to fight, and it would have been an aerial battle. And <laughs> we all know how those work out. Uh, another one was gonna like a look like a boar, and there was gonna be like this spider-like colossi, and then I guess a worm. And so, like those are pretty cool. You can actually see what they look like, believe it or not. And looking at, like, I can see the monkey. I mean, you can look this up on the wiki and they actually have pictures of what these unused colossi, like, they actually had models. So there was eight that were planned for the game that actually got models from the, from what I see, but at the same time they were cut. So, uh, I guess maybe that had to do with, like, um, the timing of the game because it had to get released and they, so they had to, like, cut corners and so, you know, we lost out on eight colossi, but... I mean, had this game been released today, could have gotten some DLC and I would have been alright with that. So, but anyways, yeah, so y'all, I hope you enjoyed Shadow of the Colossus. This has been that game. Um, man, this is a classic as far as I'm concerned. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And you know what? We're going to be moving on to The Last Guardian. That's right, guys. We're moving on to The Last Guardian, so I will see you there.